Hey there, thanks for watching. So I'm excited to share the latest feature set in our Excel for Siri add-in, our AI toolkit. Now what this toolkit does is it connects your Excel workbook with a large language model. And that will help you explain formulas, write formulas, or understand Excel-related concepts or questions. Now, in order to get started on this, you're going to want to go ahead and go to the documentation for the Excel for CRE add-in. If you're unfamiliar with this add-in, it's a free add-in we create here at ACRE. We use it in our day-to-day, -day, and we find it helpful for real estate financial modeling professionals who want to speed up their modeling. They can use this free add-in. And we have wanted some Excel features for some time, and so the team got around to adding these uh, they're quite useful, so uh, we'll get into that now. The, the first step before you can use the AI features is you need to be updated to the latest version of the Excel for Siri add in at least version 0 0.11. Uh, you can find instructions in the documentation. I'll include a link below this video uh, for the documentation. You can find instructions for installing the add in if this is your first time or updating to the latest version of the add in. Once you have the latest version, you next are going to need a Claude or Anthropic developer account. Uh, so this add-in uses Claude, the, a large language model similar to say, say OpenAI's ChatGPT, and uh, you'll need a developer account so that you can get an API key which will connect the your Excel workbook to Claude. Now this is quite simple. Again, it's included in the documentation uh, how to get the API key and the costs associated with using that API key. Uh, to do so, you'll go to Anthropics, uh, console.anthropic.com and create an account. It's free to start. Once you've created an account, you'll arrive here, go ahead and click settings, and then you'll set up a billing type. Uh, just drop in a credit card. The cost is uh, near de minimis, by the way, to use the API, but there is some cost. And so you'll need to set up a credit card and similar to say a toll booth account on, the, on a freeway, uh, you deposit some amount. I put $5 in and then it pulls from that account anytime it uses uh, or, or you use the Claude API. Now keep in mind, uh, I put $5 in, I've used 17 cents, I've used the add-in now dozens and dozens and dozens of times. The cost is approximately one-tenth of one penny per use. So once you've set up a payment account, you'll go to API keys. And you're just going to create an API key and give it a name. I don't know. I'll call mine Excel for CRE V2. And once you've done that, you'll hit add. Now, as soon as you do this, you're going to be given the API key. Think of this as a password. Do not share this with anyone. Now, you're seeing mine. You're like, well, why are you sharing it with the world? Uh, I will delete this the second I'm done with this video. So I'll copy the key. And once I've copied the key, keep in mind, you'll never see the key itself again once I hit close. So make sure you have it copied. And then go and open a workbook with the latest version of the Excel for Siri add-in. Come to the For CRE custom ribbon item, and you'll now see this AI toolkit section. And one of the options is Claude API key. You click that, and there's two uh, options within this Claude API key drop down. The first is to delete a Claude API key. So uh, you have a key in here. You want to delete it from your Excel file. You click delete. Now, keep in mind that will not delete the key permanently. And so if someone else finds the key, they could use it for their own purposes. Um, therefore, here you want to make sure to set some limits on what you can do with that API key. Now, this key uh, or the feature set we use uh, uses Claude Sonnet 3.5. It has a cost of about $15 per 1 million tokens. But here you can come and you can do things like set your monthly limit. I don't want to spend more than a dollar uh, per month. Um, you can set a notification so that if it uses more than 50 cents in a month, you're notified. Uh, you can also, under billing, choose to not auto reload. So all those things are security such that in the event you're not careful with your API key and it gets released, that you never spend more than some limit. Nevertheless, you should from time to time come in here and just 
either disable or delete API keys such that uh, if someone, if it does leak, uh, you're not being charged unnecessarily. But again, you can delete it from your Excel instance that won't delete it necessarily from the uh, Anthropic account. I can also add a Claude key, and this is what we wanna do here. So if you recall, I copied to my clipboard the API key that I just created. I'm just gonna paste it into here. So there's that key, and I click OK, and it's gonna give me a success notification. So I've added the key. Once I've added the key, I can start using the features. And as of this release, the AI uh, toolkit includes three features, explain formula, write formula, and ask an Excel question. Let's start with explain formula. So let's imagine you're in a model, this is a very, very simple model, and I look at this formula, and either A, I want an explanation of the formula, or B, I wanna write documentation for the formulas in my Excel template. And so I come here to AI features, I do explain formula, it opens up a box where it asks me first to select the cell containing the formula. So I just go ahead and I click the cell and hit OK. And then it asks me to write a short description or label for what this formula contains. Now this is really important. How this, how this feature works is it will send to Claude the formula itself together with this short description or label. So the more descriptive you are, the better the response will be. So I'm gonna start by saying net proceeds from sale. That's what this is. And then I just say, hey, and, and I know that D3 is exit cap rate. So I'll say D3 is exit cap rate. I know that D4 is what? Exit NY. Oops, there we go, is exit NY. D5 is selling cost percentage. And, and then D6, is loan payoff amount. So I write that short description, I hit okay. It sends that together with the formula to Claude. Claude's Sonnet 3.5 comes back with this explanation. Now, this is a preview of the explanation. Sometimes the full text or the full explanation is not uh, included in this box, and that's a limitation of Excel and how much text it can include in one of these notification boxes. However, what I also have it done is automatically, it adds the explanation as a comment to the cell. And you can always delete this just by going to review and delete. But what I like to do is I like to include comments often in my workbook so that other users can see uh, some comments or some instructions about the model. Now you'll notice that the box that by default appears is not large enough to, to show all of the text. And I can just edit that by double clicking on the cell. That opens the box, this comment box, and then I can expand the size of it to incorporate all of the text like that. Now any future user when they hover over will see the full box and they can read the explanation. Here's, the, here's how the formula calculates net proceeds from sale. Then it tells us D4 divided by D3 divides the exit and NOI by the exit cap to determine the projected sale price. One minus D5 subtracts the selling cost percentage from one to get the net percentage after cost. D4 divided by D3 times that one minus D5 multiplies the sale price by the net percentage to calculate proceeds after selling costs. And then the minus D6 subtracts the loan payoff amount. Final result shows the net proceeds after deducting selling costs and paying off the loan. So there we have a description. That is the explain formula feature. Let's go to the write formula feature. So what this does, let's go ahead and delete the comment, going to review, delete, and let's actually delete that formula. We're gonna have the AI write this formula for us. Now, why might you use this feature? The first is you run into a logic question you're not exactly sure how to write. And so you start prompting Claude and Claude helps you write the formula. The better you are describing what you want, the better or the more likely the output is going to be sufficient. So I'm gonna go ahead and click, first off I put my cursor where I want the formula to be written and because it's actually gonna come back and it's gonna place the formula in the cell that we want. So I click write formula, up, box a, up pops a describe formula box and here I have tons of room to describe the formula. This is all that will be sent 
to Claude. So make sure it's as descriptive as possible. So I'll start by saying this formula should return the net proceeds from sale. The sale is calculated using the exit cap rate in D3 and exit NOI in D4. Uh, it then should um, calculate the selling costs. D5 contains the selling cost percentage input which is the percentage of sale price um, for selling costs. And then D6 contains the actual loan payoff amount. Net proceeds from sale should be sale price less selling cost amount less loan payoff amount. Now, the only nuance really is in the selling cost percentage. Let's see how it does. So it's gonna send that to Claude with some prompt for how it should return, and it comes back with a formula. And you'll notice that it dropped that formula into the cell, and what it did, what? It took D4 divided by D3 and calculated for us a sale price. It then calculated the selling cost amount, then it subtracted from that the net proceeds from sale. So that is the right formula feature. Now the last feature is pretty straightforward, ask an Excel question. So when might you use this? Think of this as a quick access to a large language model like Claude that will help you with questions you have related to Excel. A future version I'm thinking might be, might be able to read certain parts of your workbook and help, but right now it's just simply a, a quick way to ask a question without having to leave your Excel workbook. So I might say something like, um, I'm modeling a development deal. I have monthly periods. Should I use IRR or XIRR? Oops. And what is the difference? I just asked that quick, quick question. It's gonna send that to Claude. Come, Claude will come back with a response. Use XIRR for monthly periods, the key differences. And it talks about the differences between IRR, XIRR, uh, and then it provides you some syntax. Uh, I might also say something like, um, now keep in mind, it does not save, so it doesn't know anything about what we just asked, but I might say, uh, explain MIRR and when, to, um, and the difference between it and IRR or XIRR. So another one, and it'll come back with, with an answer that will describe MIRR and the difference between that and IRR or XIRR. So that was the ask an Excel question feature. Now you might be asking yourself, well, how was this done? Like how, how was the AI toolkit built? If you're curious, again, we give the, the, the Excel for Siri add-in is completely free. Uh, therefore you can access the code at any time and see how this was built. You can use the code for your own purposes. We use ChatGPT to, to write the code itself. So you click Visual Basic. Here you'll come into the back end and you'll see this ACRE for Excel dot xlam piece and here is the code for the excel add-in and here this mod claude api this is all of the code that produced these ai features feel free to edit it feel free to explore what we did and, and possibly use it for your own purposes and so that is the ai toolkit feature in our excel for siri add-in let us know if you have any questions otherwise thanks for your time